can't just take away my brother. Once he's processed, you'll be able to speak to him, okay? Remus. Don't say anything till I get there, okay? It's okay, Ron. I did a bad thing. I'm not sure what happened. I was a normal child. I'm the writer and director of Remus of Ron. I hope you enjoyed the teaser. We made that with what very little gear and, and resources we had access to. So I hope you liked it. We made that for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, to show what this film is going to look and feel like, and also show that we can do it. You know, we did that with what very little we had. So imagine what we could do if we had a bit of funding behind us. So. Just like you saw in the teaser, Remus of Ron is going to tell the story of this strange and awkward, almost autistic sort of man who's arrested for murder. And he's looking back on his life and reminiscing on this abusive childhood that both him and his identical twin brother were subjected to. And he's kind of thinking about, well, how did they turn out so differently? And he looks on these three important stages of his life, when he was a child, when he was a teen, and when he was a troubled adult. And just like in the teaser, Remus and Ron, these twins are going to be played by one actor. So just like you've seen, you know, Jeremy Irons doing Dead Ringers or what Army Hammer did so great in The Social Network, have this one actor play these twins. But in our case, we're actually going to have three actors because we have these three different stages. So a young child actor is going to play the childhood Remus and Ron, and then a slightly older actor is going to play teen Remus and Ron. And then local theatre actor Will Kelly is actually going to play the, the adult Remus and Ron. But this isn't just a great opportunity for our cast, it's actually a great opportunity for our crew. So we happen to all be recent film school graduates and we're all kind of in this grey zone at the moment where we can't get funding from you know grants like Screen Queensland because we don't have enough experience despite pretty much all of us being involved in award winning films but we can't get that extra experience without getting more funding. So that's where you come in and that's where crowdfunding comes in. But I'm also going to be putting in as much of my own money as I can, and I'm going to be selling my motorcycle too. So this is the bike I learned to ride on. It's a 2013 Hyosung GV250 EFI. And the first person to pledge $3,000, well, this bike's going to be yours. Because that's how much I want to make this film, and that's how much I believe in it. So I started writing this film one day when I went back and I had a look at all my short films and music videos and I realised I hadn't really had the chance yet to explore these darker stories and, and darker characters that I think represent me better as a filmmaker. But you know, it's not just an exercise in style, um, there's some themes here that I think are really true to me. You know, there's, there's brotherly themes and themes of sacrifice 
and also the whole nature versus nurture thing. You know, these are identical twins that share, you know, a lot of the same DNA and they're subjected to the same childhood, although one of them's treated completely differently. And I don't know, that's just a kind of a, a bit of a discussion that I want to start here. So I just want to thank everyone in advance who helped support this film by donating or sharing our campaign. You know, this little short film, hopefully it's going to go a long way on our path to becoming feature filmmakers. And I just want to say thank you for helping us make this happen.